Hello there, welcome to the June 2018 paper. Here we're looking at question 5. So a student's attempt to solve the equation 2 log 2x minus log 2 root x equals 3 is shown. So log 2x minus log 2. Identify two errors the student made, giving a brief description of each. So the first error was going from line 1 to line 2 and dividing the logarithms where there is still a 2 at the front of the first logarithm. So from line 1 to line 2 um, must not combine logs where the 2 is still at front. You must incorporate your coefficients first before um, combining in terms of an add or a, subtra add or a um, subtract. The next thing that's not quite right is if we now simplify this, and that does simplify to this, okay. If we incorporate that, that's going to be incorporated as a square, very good. Oh, it's the last line that is uh, incorrect, it's line 1, 2, 3, 4, it's line 4 to line 5. From line 4 to line 5, it should be... should be 2 to the power of 3 rather than 3 squared. Okay, so there we are. Those are the two mistakes there. It was from this line to this line and from this line to this line. Let's move on to part B. Work out the correct solution. Okay, so 2 log 2x minus log 2 root x. Okay, so the first thing I think I'd do here is I would um, move the 2 inside the logarithm. So log 2 of x squared minus log 2 of root x equals 3. Now I'll subtract the two logarithms by dividing them inside the logarithm. So it's going to be x squared over root x equals 3. Now I can move the 2 onto the other side, so I'm effectively going to raise everything to the power of 2 on both sides to get rid of the 2 on the uh, logarithm. Effectively what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this little 2 and let it bump up the 3 there, so it's going to be x squared over root x equals 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. Now I'm going to simplify this uh, algebra on the left hand side so that's going to be x squared divided by x to the half so you subtract the um, you subtract the indices there so it's going to be x to the power of 3 over 2 equals 8 now I'm going to square both sides that will give me x cubed equals 64 so squaring both sides that will get rid of this uh, 2 on the denominator of the indice there and then cube root now I'm going to cube roots to get x, and x equals 4. So there we are. The answer to this question is x equals 4. That's 5 marks for this question on question 5. Let's move on to question 6.